In terms of the architectural design, um, designing with modules is obviously quite, uh, it's very interesting, very exciting, but it's also quite uh, restrictive in a way, in terms of the facade articulation, uh, what you can express architecturally, the amount of play that you can have on the facades, because the idea of modulation is that there's limited modules, um, because repetition obviously has its uh, cost effectiveness. Uh, you, you can't be designing too many modules because it becomes less efficient. So we looked very much, for example, in this atrium of the spaces between modules and how we create interesting spaces between the modules. We have two types of modules here, essentially a double-double um, a room and a queen room, which are different in length. So that gave us some facade articulation. Um, and we played on the ends of the buildings as well to give, to give some facade articulation. So the, the modules, although quite restrictive, we came up with a different type of space now where we spanned a bridge across a triple volume atrium and it gave us some quite uh, interesting opportunities design-wise. There's multiple um, levels of inspection to the units in the factory environment and that, that just lends itself to, um, I believe, a very good quality of product that comes out of the factory. Far less, um, if you like, buggeration on site, far less chasing, far less um, making a plan on site. All of the work is pre-planned, pre-manufactured. It arrives on site, snagged, signed off, ready for habitation, which is quite an unusual and exciting thing. Like